Hi guys, uh, in this video I want to discuss something that I don't usually discuss. Uh, usually I usually talk about business stuff like um, applications and office tools and stuff, but this time I want to talk about a media player called XMBC. Um, you guys may be familiar with the media player uh, from Windows, uh, Windows Media Center, which is very nice, you know, it, it looks very cool, they made it very fluid uh, in Windows 7 and you can use that with your TV and your laptop and it actually looks and, and feels very nice. You see, it, it takes quite some time for it to load, uh, but once it loads it is very nice. It has the, it has the ability to access internet TV and you can actually get, uh, you can stream uh, live TV if you have uh, the adapter for it. But it, it, it's kind of laggy and I've been using it for two years now and I don't really like it. So. What I do like is XMBC. Um, XMBC used to actually be a part of Xbox, uh, and that media center became available now for Windows, um, and it's actually very, very cool. And I'd like to show you guys uh, my build of it. So, XMBC is a really, really, really pretty uh, media center, and what I love about this thing is that it fetches everything um, from the internet. Like for example, movies, right? when you go to videos and you go to movies every single movie gets a thumbnail directly for from IMDB the movie database and it also gets more information like for example you see I have a movie like The Godfather so I'll right click it go to movie information uh, and it gives you all this really really cool information like the director the writer the plot the story um, the cast the characters and e even in the cast, if I click on uh, one of the cast members, like Al Pacino, it's going to show me every movie I have uh, with Al Pacino in it, um, which is very, very cool. I find this this software to be actually really awesome. Um, and this is like a must-have if you connect your your computer to your TV. Um, you want to be able to have like a really smooth media center experience, and this gives you that. Uh, the two very most cool things about this, I, don't, I didn't even play with the images part, although you do have an option to embed graphics in here uh, and put all kinds of pictures and stream your photos from your cameras and stuff like that and airplay from your iPhone. Um, the videos option allows you to uh, view pretty much any video and if it's a movie, it allows you to actually get that information from the um, IMDB. Uh, and it'll automatically get everything for you and it's a very very cool thing um, as you see I already started adding some movies myself uh, you see it even plays in the background like Windows like a uh, Windows Media Center though it's actually very very cool I really like this um, so yeah so when you add movies you basically specify a folder for the movies and you just drop a movie in there and it'll automatically grab all the information about it um, and it even gives you fan art, something I really like. Uh, like take this movie, for example, Ace Ventura, When uh, Nature Calls, right? I'm going to go to Movie Information, and I'm going to click on Get Fan Art. Uh, and it's actually going to get, right from the internet, all kinds of different pictures uh, that relate to the movie, and it will tie it into this media center. So let's say I want this to be my background picture, uh, Jim Carrey and a bunch of monkeys. You see, this whole thing is basically uh, tied in together. Every single update, every single entry of image, it requires no tweaking on your behalf, actually. Take a look. The picture I just um, put in the back is in the background of this whole thing now when I put the mouse over the thumbnail. So this is very, very, very cool. And um, it does the same thing for music. And I wanted to show you guys this also. Uh, let me exit this, go back. This is very keyboard native. So if you have, if you have what I have, I have basically a dedicated computer just for my TV and I have a wireless keyboard and mouse so I just kind of go with the keyboard and um, take a look at this this is a lot of music that I have and all this music uh, the images that you see were basically parsed from uh, last.fm so what XMBC does is it researches for you um, photos and all this kind of cool stuff and it ties it in for you so I know a lot of people like to use iTunes but this is way way cooler I think uh, I really like the backdrop and backgrounds of this stuff so let me go to an artist um, let's go to Deep Purple right and I have here album covers for each and every album that I have so I have the very best of Deep Purple right 
and in the background you see the band and you see the album cover on every song that I go through. Now I have a very very cool intensive search um, and I have a, a pretty much every view possible from artist, album, songs, random files, uh, I can browse my library and in videos I have the same thing, browse my library, files and movies. Um, so I really use it for these two particular things and when I play a song there's a really neat visualization in the <laughs> I'm in love with this thing. I could sit here and play music forever or watch movies forever, but this is very, very cool. And I have about a million songs and it's all out of here. Now the system tab just has, has cool little options, um, such as appearance. Uh, you can change the skin with this. There, there's all kinds of different skins and all kinds of cool little things that you can tweak. Um, you know, the colors of the theme and fonts, zoom. Um, when you download this, in case you wonder why the weather is in Celsius and not in Fahrenheit is because you have to go into system and you have to change your regional information um, to USA and then the time will change from military to standard and then you'll get your Fahrenheit um, weather so this is really really nice and you have all these different options here uh, network options, weather options, you add the zip code, where you pull your pictures from, where you pull your music from uh, you can also modify like the background pictures um, and background picture for a video and that's really what I wanted to show you in comparison with Windows Media Player this thing kicks major ass um, you know it's it's very very cool um, and it takes very little resource and it just yanks everything right from the internet so the website to get this at is XMBC um, dot com I believe or dot org let me just check real quick I want to be sure I don't want to give the wrong information out in order to get this you just type in XMBC uh, in Google and it's XMBC.org and you just click on the download link uh, and you'll be able to download it right away so you can download different skins and plugins and programs YouTube is embedded into this also I believe I already embedded uh, YouTube in here let me just check to see when you go to videos add-ons and I have YouTube for example right so you can watch YouTube right on your TV um, let's do a search for uh, one of my videos Excel 10 things you must know let's see if it comes up with it now I believe you have to be keyword specific with this it's not as fluid with YouTube as it should be hold on let me cancel this I did retrieve certain things uh, but I canceled too quick so it's not as fluid when using add-ons, but as far as getting movies and parsing information and uh, oh, I did get it. There you go. Here's my video, and I believe it's gonna play it right in XMBC also. Yeah, you see, it says working. It's downloading it, kind of like how Apple used to do it. Hi, you guys. This okay. Let me pause it. But yeah, so for example, you can watch YouTube with this thing and everything but live TV, um, and of course your movie library, which. You can also change the views. Um, I really wanted to make a full video introduction on, on how to do this, but I kind of got lost in the way. But yeah, you can change the views, you know, poster wrap, for example. Um, this thing is so customizable and so much fun that if you have uh, a laptop or if you have a TV uh, that you want to connect a computer to, this is actually what you would need. You would need something like this, an all-inclusive media center that does both um, audio and video and just gets all the information together and makes it really pretty and really smooth to navigate by. So I'm going to put the URL to download this in the description of the uh, this video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you try it. I think everyone should have uh, this thing installed. This thing kicks major, major, major ass. And Microsoft should actually make their uh, uh, media center as fluid as this and I would use it again but this is just so easy to move and just so like you know everything is so flush together and I love it um, thank you for watching the video and leave your comments below um, or if you have any cool skins post some links up I'm always looking for more stuff I believe I have like 18 skins but I want more <laughs> um, but yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you can and comment share and all that good stuff Thank you.